Hey, what's going on guys? Adam here with 80 Proof Goods. Uh, this time around, I'm making a wallet out of what I think is a beautiful color combination. This is olive green Minerva. It's a full grain Italian leather as always, and I'm pairing it up with citrus stitching. This is a customer design, and if you're not familiar with how the site works, you can design your own on my website here. Uh, link is in the description below. And uh, yeah, you can pick your leather color. You can pick up to 14 different stitching colors. Now for this, I'm using my Glowforge. And as you can see, I programmed it and designed this in Illustrator so that Glowforge uh, punches out all of the stitching holes, which makes it a lot easier to line everything up, put it all together, and then stitch it shut. Straight out of the Glowforge, the laser is gonna make it have a little bit of a laser charred edge. So it's not really a fresh edge. So I like to sand that off. Now this time around, I shot a little bit of B-roll for some of these tools. And the first tool I'm using is this Palo Santo Edge Beveler. It's a number two edge beveler, which I find to be the perfect size or width blade to bevel the edges on most, if not all of my projects. Uh, so what I like to do is just round out the edges on the card slots and the interior panel itself. I don't really touch the outer panel for the wallets until the very end. Now beveling these edges is going to give it a nice rounded edge, getting rid of the 90 degree angle that it leaves when you cut it. And then from there I pick up this French Skyver, which I think is the absolute best method of skiving. If you're into leather craft and you do things like this, try out this French Skyver. This is a 12 millimeter, so it's the widest one that I found is available. I don't know if they make them any wider. I think it would get kind of tedious to use if it was wider. It would require a lot more pressure. Uh, so I use this to skive down the inner card slots. That'll be underneath of the top card slot. So I just make it nice and thin so it doesn't have a lot of bulk on the inside of the wallet. This is going to help reduce it, make it a little thinner. When it comes to assembling some of those inner card slots for the inside of the wallet here, I like to use this eighth inch Tandy tape, and then I break out my scratch off from Palo Santo. This is just gonna help you pick and pry at things. It's great for tracing templates on top of leather. Uh, so that's when the scratch offs come in handy, but I also just pick out the backing of the, uh, the adhesive tape that I just mentioned. Um, so it's useful for a lot, of, a lot of things. Mainly its use is to trace templates on leather, but it's called a scratch off It scratches the leather so you can make marks. From there, I use my wing divider to mark my stitching line, and I didn't think it was worth uh, you know, going over the stitching with my sewing machine because the main part of this is gonna be by hand. Burnishing, I like to use a canvas cloth. Now, this might seem like a silly shot here, like why even film a piece of cloth? Because I think it's a really unique uh, kind of burnishing method. A lot of people use a wood slicker or a beeswax or things like that, but I use tokenol and a needle applicator and a little piece of canvas cloth, and I think it gives you the best edge. Aquilum 315 is my water-based glue of choice. It helps stick everything together, give you a nice bonded edge, but it's really easy to clean up since it's water-based. So if you get it all over your hands or all over your workspace, or even if it gets on the finished side of the leather, you can easily wipe that off. Um, and that happens often, you know, and it's just something you wanna keep in mind. You don't wanna pick a really harsh chemically glue that'll leave or ruin some of the finish um, because it's inevitable. You're gonna get a little bit of glue on the finished side of the leather and you just wanna be able to wipe that off, uh, whether it be just by hand, putting a little friction on it, getting it off, or just a damn cloth does it as well. Now I broke up the interior to have this little like trim piece at the top so I glue that down first and then I hit it uh, with the entire panel that we assembled earlier. I use binder clips to clip everything together uh, from pretty much all of my projects. If I have to glue something I use these binder clips. I recommend picking up a bunch of them. You can get like a 50 pack on Amazon uh, to make your life a whole lot easier and I like to get a whole bunch of different sizes too. Now I've got a Dream Factory stitching pony or stitching clamp that I clamped to my desk here and stitching by hand when the Glowforge punches out your stitching holes in a circle uh, makes it a lot, a lot easier. Now listen, I love the look of pricking irons that get you the slanted look, the slanted stitching design, but I'm trying to scale a business and scaling a business and pricking every single project by hand, it's just not feasible, it's not scalable. Uh, so I like to use my Glowforge in clever ways. I like to use my Glowforge to its fullest capabilities, uh, which includes punching holes for my stitching, and then I can do it by hand. It makes it a lot easier and cuts down my production time, which means I get to get you know projects and uh, products out to customers a lot faster. From there, I glued everything together, everything's stitched. So let's sand off the, the, the rest of the laser char. But we're mainly sanding it so that the edges are completely flush, preparing it to be finished. We break out the number two edge beveler, tokenol, and canvas cloth again to finish all the edges and get you a nice glassy look just like this. You can see that shine through the lights. From there, I use a bone folder. Should have shot some B-roll for this, but I forgot. The bone folder is just gonna help break open any excess glue that got around on the inside. So card slots are completely opened and you know prevents your card from getting stuck. Uh, so you do all that and there we have it. This customer requested the their initials laser engraved. So of course I had to oblige. Let me know in the comments if you like the citrus on top of the olive green. I think it's one of my personal favorite color combinations. It's super unique. You get a really nice pop of contrast, but it somehow goes together really nicely. As always, subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this.